Hey guys, this is Peter from levelwinner.com and in this video I will share with you some tips and tricks for Champman 16. For about two decades and a half now, the Championship Manager franchise has been a staple in the sports management genre, allowing armchair managers to take control of their favorite soccer teams and take them to the top of the league. With Square Enix having released the latest Android and iOS iteration from this series, Champman 16, Soccer fans cannot take advantage of the biggest expansion to the mobile game. The game now spans 20 seasons and you have the option to apply for new jobs or get offers from other teams. The graphics have been improved and a few new leagues and champions cups have been added as well. All in all, there are over 450 clubs and 25 playable leagues you can choose from. Before you start managing, it's best to be armed with some knowledge of what to do and what not to do. So let's get to our Champman 16 tips and tricks, which will cover a lot of areas and give you everything you need to be a successful manager. Get players via loan or free agency. When you start a game, you won't have enough money to initiate a transfer, so what you will have to do here is to loan a player from another team. Hit advanced once you are in the player list, Set the status to loan listed and you will see a list of players who can be loaned out to your team. You can also check the free agency scene for some players to beef up your team. Though the catch here is that a lot of these free agents can do a number on your budget for wages. List your unused players for transfer. Need more money to sign good players. You can always place players you don't want or need on the transfer list. Somebody's sure to place a bid on them and when these players transfer over to their new team you will have more money to spend on new players. You can place as many players as possible on the transfer list just as long as you have got at least 11 players for your team. Use the coaching fund properly. Before match day you will want to check your lineup and choose the formation that works best with your lineup. After that, you can use the coaching fund, but be sure that it's set up to 100% trained. This will allow your team to play to its fullest potential on the pitch. What coaching strategy should you use? Attack and defense coaching is a great way to improve the players on your team, though it's going to cost you a chunk of your coaching funds. Go for the attack and defense coaching upgrade as soon as you have got the funds to do so, but remember that your coaches will only stay with your team for two seasons. Always play to win. Granted, you can't expect to win all the matches you play, but you shouldn't be playing if you aren't playing to win. Draws are fine, but preferably in away matches only. Winning while away from home is great, but draw wouldn't hurt you much if you are on the road. One cheat you can pull off to avoid losing is to shut down Champman 16 or to restart your device if you think you are sure to lose the match. Once you return to the game, the loss wouldn't be credited to you and you will still have the same record you had before the match. Player of form, send him to the bench. While managing your squad, always look at your lineup and see if you have got some outliers in there. Once you see someone who isn't playing too well and hasn't had a good outing by the 60 minute mark, you can sub him for someone else and see where it takes you. Subs are a great way to turn the tide in your favor, so make full use of your lineup at all times. Don't jump ship right away. If your season didn't live up to expectations, or if you think you should be taking your talents to greener pastures, you can review the offers presented to you by other clubs. But if you haven't won anything yet for your team, we advise you to stay and not to leave so soon. Just focus on winning so you can earn more CM dollars and coaching funds. Complete the objectives. Before the season begins, the board of directors will brief you and give you some quests or objectives to fulfill. If you are able to fulfill them, once the season is over, you will get a tidy sum of CM dollars and coaching funds as a reward. 
And this wraps up our list of tips and tricks for Champman 16. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Cheers!